to take the football. And here's the run up, and it's short over to the left side. And the ball is bobbled and now covered right there at the 26-yard line. Brad Phelps was one of the men back of the night. We have a pretty good idea of what Robinson would do on the first down play. Now, Zion runs an I formation with uh, uh, one uh, tight end, a split end, and a flanker. And Phelps uh, rolls back, hands it up the middle, and nothing going there. The fullback carried the ball and got it to you know, at the Robinson, or at the Mount Zion 28-yard line. Brett Shry, they split the backfield this time and bring Scharf to the right side and back to throw. Goes the quarterback, and he's got a man wide open, but the ball is dropped. Steve Scharf came out of the at the 28-yard line. The series started at the 26 after Robinson's kickoff. So a good eight needed here by the Braves. Or they'll have to kick it away. Again, they split the backfield, go to the uh, pro set with uh, Harvey, the fullback, on the left side, Sharp on the right side. A quick drop and a pass out into the flat to Jones, and he tries to stretch it out for the first down marker. He punts, so this might be a spot where you do it, but it's awfully early in the ball game and pretty deep in your own territory. But, uh, ball is at the 30, and they need a full yard for the first down, and we'll see if the snap goes deep. And it does. So the Braves are going to kick it away. No gamble early. It's a wobbler off to the left side and not much distance on it, but there is a little roll down inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. The, going to spot it at the third. We're sending double wides to the near side, and Mount Zion has not reacted to it yet. We're going to have a man wide open unless they get somebody down here, and they finally do. Artreach rolls to the near side, throws it deep. It is caught by Stone, tries to cut away and gave up the first down, trying to get away. And, the, and it uh, cost him a first down. So Robinson going to the air on that first down play. And on the ground, Jake Baxter has got the first down as he twists his way to the 48-yard line. Uh, head north and south. He isn't going to go east and west. With He's it. a north-south runner. Yep. Right now, we're headed south. The Maroons with the football. And it's a give to uh, True Blood. Odell. Odell, rather. And I, yep, Odell breaks it, and he's got about eight more. Into, uh, well, I missed that one. Second down with two yards needed for the first down. We've played just three minutes here in the first half of the ball games. We're just underway. Justin Likens in at the split end here on the near side. And Robinson breaks the backfield, and it's Baxter, and he's got the first down as he's at the 42. And Jeff Blacker checks in at the tight end spot, replaces Justin Sonsheim. And a Hartridge rolls to the near side and gives it to Odell, Odell and he stopped. And Brent Parker now comes out, and he's getting the same discussion with Coach Don Taylor. So upstairs, Coach Derry Roach apparently has seen something at, uh, here at the sideline. Here's Hartridge on a keeper right, cuts it up field, doesn't get much. He's inside the 40, down to about the 38. In time, they passed on the first down. Play comes in from the sideline. Looks like we're going to run right here. We've got Lycan here at the near side. Jim Pat O'Dell is a wing back. True Blood goes in motion to the right. It's a give to Baxter up the middle, and he is near the first down marker. And again, the Maroons not really doing much fancy. They're showing some motion in the opening quarter. Third first down of this drive here. Fresh set of receivers in. Justin Stone and Calvin Fox. They're both on the near side. A fake to Baxter. A pitch back to Trueblood. Turns the corner. 30, 25. He's gone. Put six on the board for Robinson. Brandon Trueblood turned the corner. An average. Oh. Why'd you put down? 30. 31. Okay. 6-0 for the Maroons. Extra point attempt coming up. Looks like they're going to go for a pair of them here as the team is set. Full house backfield and a fake to Baxter. Hartridge turns it up and he is in for the score. Hartridge on the keeper to the right side. Possession of the football game and it's 8-0. Drive by the Maroons. They took it at the 35-yard line, so it was a 65-yard touchdown march. And here's another one nearly bobbled. It ends up uh, with the Braves back around. That's Eric Correll making the hit at the 27-yard line. I think it was uh, uh, John Jordan who brought the, uh, we'll put it at the 27-yard line. Mark that down. That's where this possession will go. And they set up in the I formation with wideouts on each side. Here's a quick pass out to the near side. Trueblood misses his man, but he got some help from Curtis Bailey. 13, yeah, I think you're all right. right. I think it's closer to 14. That's close enough. But it's a first down anyway for the Braves. 
That was just a quick drop and out into the flat. And True Blood gave an awful lot of space to Dukeman. Then again, that's been Robinson's type of defense, and they handed up the middle to the fullback, Steve Sharp. And Sharp got maybe a nine, and they're probably already in a spot to pass or uh, to try something other than a sweep up the middle as Robinson. Defensive interior has just been superb. I formation, and it's a give to Harvey. He's at the 45 and running hard. The flag goes down in an area where you suspect a uh, hold or a clip. Ball is out of the, uh, to the 49-yard line, about two yards short of the first down. The flag is over around the flag, so it must have been. That was all. It'll be second down with 15 needed for the first down. The Braves of Mount Zion in the red and white tonight. And you'll see some red and gold next week at Charleston. Sharp in motion left. Phelps back to throw. Has time. Puts it down. It's caught by Sharp, and Bailey chasing him. Gets away from him. Jim Pat O'Dell, a touchdown saving tackle inside the 40. And, uh, some big running room. First and 10, Mount Zion at the Robinson 38. And it's a give to Sharp, and he gets a yard or two. He went from the left half spot on. The, that's just fine. A lot of a things can happen when you put it in the air. <laughs> a lot of them are bad. Too. Yes, they are. They've got trips to the left side. They're loaded up to throw again. And they out. Phelps slips and now puts it out. And there's almost another penalty there. But the receiver Jones gets away from a couple of people and he's in for a touchdown. Ryan Bryant missed a tackle back at the, about the 10 yard play man, too. Didn't he, though? He's a great player. Good athlete. They come out and they're going to set up and attempt to tie it up here. Looks like they're going to shoot for the two pointer. They bring Jones in motion to the right side. Phelps gives it to Sharp, and he is stopped short of the goal line. Sharp on a run. It's the score. The Maroons with the lead of two as a result of the, of the wingmen on either side out near the 25. So they don't uh, feel that uh, Rob Peterson is going to kick the ball extremely deep. He didn't the first time. Here's his run up and the kick. True Blood's going to take it around the 18. Back to the 20, straight up the middle. Hit around the 25, out near the 30, maybe the 31-yard line. So Robinson will have the football and the two-point conversion. Braves marched right back downfield. 36-yard touchdown pass, but a run for two was no good. Hartridge with it on an option. Comes to Jim uh, Trueblood. He comes around the outside and missed his cut, or he'd had himself a huge gain on that one. Kind of maybe had his head. Nice gain anyway. Uh, here's Hartridge again. The option. Jim Pat O'Dell the other way at the 45. Gets outside to the 50. Down to the 45, and he's close to another first down. Means here. We're not going to hold on to the ball long enough. <laughs> I'd like to see us get four or five uh, uh, each time. That way, keep the clock running, and then they don't have it, and they can't throw a half on it. Double wides to the near side. Both teams a little off balance defensively at this point. And here's a give to... The right hell or true blood. Play left in the first quarter. Robinson leading Mount Zion by a score of eight to six. Full house backfield, and it's a give to Jim Pat O'Dell, and he's got the first down. He carries about seven yards, in fact. He was just running to try to get a first down. He got rolling going across the right side, and he just kept some seven rushing first downs now. Impressive on the ground thus far. Hartridge a quick snap back to throw. He looks deep. He's got his man open, and it is overthrown just a bit. As they, uh, Calvin Fox comes back on. So it's second and ten. Hartridge rolls to the left, and he's hit and dropped for a loss this time. First time that the right end on the right side. Stone the split in left side, and Odell is in the slot. And they run a reverse, and Odell with it on the right side, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Oh, he took a hit. Nothing happened there. Needed for the first down. Looks as if the Maroons are going to set up and take a crack at it inside the Braves. Yeah, might as well. 35-yard line. And Hartridge is back, and he has some pressure on him. It's a screen pass to Odell, and he gets away from one man, gets away from another, jumps yes. over another, but is stopped well short of the first down. He's inside the 25 drive, but the Braves hold. Good movie. Take two. Or play Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or game. Come to the line of scrimmage. We're ready to start the second period. After a quarter of play, Robinson up 8-6. Mount Zion with the football, first and 10. They'll start at the Maroon, or at the uh, Brave 24-yard line. After holding on downs, taking over. Mount Zion with a wide out both ways, and they pitch it out wide once again, and again. The Robinson uh, defensive back, I think that's uh, first quarter. 
most of that in the air. With First and 10 for the Braves <laughs> at the 36-yard line. And it's a pitch to the right side. Sharp carries. He turns the corner, and he may have another first down. Looked like he did. Run out of bounds at the far side. The official, the ball was right at the chain, so he didn't even have to bring it out to measure. Otherwise, there would have been a measurement. So it's uh, the power I set this time for Mount Zion, and they put it in the air again. Dukeman makes the catch, and he turns it back into the middle. He's got the first down as he takes it to Robinson for four tackling. You know, I mean, the passes have been there. Can't take that away from him. Here's a run up the middle by Sharp, the fullback, and he's got close to five yards. As he five yards, yep. most of it's being done on the ground. Yep. And I say with some some poor tackling on the part of uh, the Maroons. And Phelps back. Here's a quick pop, and Dukeman bobbles it, then catches it, and not much gain this time. And very close to being out. Yeah, he just uh, he couldn't get the handle on it though cleanly and. Uh, Messed up the timing. So it's third down with seven. Maroons need a big defensive play here. Look how deep Odell is. And here's a pass down to Sharp at the 40, and he dives forward to very close to that first down marker. It's not a gimme that they're going to run it either. Uh, although they're in a tight formation with only one white out this time, which would indicate they're going to run. Phelps will probably sneak it. Yeah, he's oh, leaning. There should be have been a flag procedure against the Braves. Heck, I suspect they will with five yards, you know, if you had a yard or two. But here again, they've got a short yardage fake, I know, according to the scouting reports. Peterson gets the kickoff. It's a good one. Odell at the 12, back to the 15, gives ground, and now at the 15, now back inside the 15, and out to about the 17. Ran a long ways, but didn't get anywhere. Now yeah. here's a flag down. Okay. I didn't catch nine yard penalty. Well, let's see. Yeah, right at that. Oh, there was a Braves with field position as a result of that uh, Baxter carried and got a yard. So it's second and what, 18? Yeah, we, had, we had 19, didn't we, to start with? We got to get it out here. Yeah. Here comes Odell in motion to the right. Hartridge is back to throw. And he puts it out, and it's caught by Stone. And Stone was up. Good job getting rid of the ball. He had a guy hanging on him when he when he unleashed. Third down and six. But we had about three or four more on that yeah. one too, Mike. You know, it'd be nice to look at it. Be looking at a third and two instead of third and six here. That's the tough call. Double wing backs. Hartridge fakes, puts it in the air over the middle, and fortunate that it was not intercepted. It was thrown. Around the five when he takes the snap here. Well, I'm just inside the 10. Braves with two men back at the 45-yard line. Baxter averaging about 32 yards a punt on the season. So he's done a good job. Yeah, and the Braves have got quite a few people up here, but not much of a rush. They drop back. Baxter gets it off, drives it. It's taken at the 50 by Sharp. He gives ground to the right and is hit by the first man down. Got back to just the 50-yard line. First man down for the return. So the Braves start at the midfield stripe. That's their best field position of the night. Robinson leads at 8-6 with seven minutes left in the first half. Phelps back to throw. First down, lots of time. Sharp wide open here in the flat. Hit by one man and was stopped. He went down to a knee. Tack defensive scheme of who is supposed to pick him up. But uh, again, there was nobody in his neighborhood. When he caught the ball, the try came over and covered quickly and made a nice tackle. Here's Harvey carrying for the first down. That's one of their best. Uh, no other that, that was, that was Har Harvey carried there. Oh, Harvey, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we'll give two yeah. then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Harvey carried for the first down. All right, that's his first carry then. Up there, we got a procedure on for the Braves. No, but he's, complete, he's throwing ten times, hit nine of them. No, he had one dropped by Dukeman out there. That was right here. Yeah, yeah, that was the only one. Yeah. And the Braves bring Jones inside in motion. The ball is loose, and Robinson's got it. An errant handoff by Phelps, and the ball was... That's the kind of thing there. Got the football with the lead, and that took you out of that tremendous hole you were in with that first down back at the eight-yard line. Artridge uh, give up the middle, and Trueblood bursts through and is over the 50 and down to the 48, maybe the 47-yard. Two needed for the first down. 445. This would be a nice one to march right down and finish up the half with a score here. With uh, just over four and a half minutes to go. Wishbone set for the Maroons. 
Now they break and go into the power eye. And a bit of a mix up there as Hartridge is back to throw, gets away from one man, runs, got some field. 40, down to the 35, and he just lowers his head and took it on down to the 32 yard line. Well, you see Louie lower the head. I give him 16. 16, we'll take your word for it. Nice game, we know that. Nearing the four minute mark in the first half, Maroon still lead it by a pair. Robinson is at the line of scrimmage and ready to put it in play once again. Offensive line is set to snap and to give to Trueblood. He's inside the 30, down to the 29. Alternate at those end spots. All see a quite a bit of action. Give him about three on that first down play as it's spotted closer to the 30-yard line than the 29. So second and seven for the Maroons. And a heart reach, a give to Trueblood again. He burst through. He's still on his feet, got away from one man, and has got a first down as he took it in. The touchdown. Just over three minutes to go in the half. Maroon's hoping to take it on down and stretch that lead a bit before the intermission. Hartridge with it comes to the right, gives up the middle to Baxter, and Baxter goes 236 left to play in the second quarter. The Apollo Conference game at Crosby Field and Robinson on a brisk night. Here's uh, Trueblood once again, and can mark. Yeah, if we can pick up a first down here. Got a chance to get it in and just about wipe out the clock on this first half. Here's Baxter. He's got the first down inside the five and lunging to the two. It'll be fun was a sweep. At the two-yard line, first and goal to go. And the drive, touchdown, Robinson. Odell, I believe it was. Jim, but we'll take it. I'm not complaining. 14-6 is the score. Maroon set to go for a two-pointer once again. Hartridge takes the snap, fakes to Baxter, and now pitches it out, and Trueblood's in untouched. And it's 60, nobody in sight. So the Maroons with a 10-point lead. Don't know exactly what the problem is, but uh, he came off the field under his own power, but uh, he's got a sore spot for sure. Here's Robinson's kickoff. They drive it down the middle. It's bobbled around and goes all the way back to about the 10-yard line where it's covered by Mount Zion inside the 10. Well, you know, they're putting ice near the rib cage on the right side. Yeah. He must have taken a hit after the pitch. Here's Phelps on a keeper, rolls to the right, and he is uh, out of bounds. Driven out of bounds. And, of course, got out of bounds after the nine yard pickup, too. And Phelps with a stamp and keeps it himself. Once again, now handed it off and then followed through with the fake, but if he punching it up the middle, I'm surprised. Mike, are they going to air one out here pretty soon? I think they put it in the air quick. Well, I, I wouldn't have back at the nine-yard line necessarily. They're going to run a reverse here, and it's not going to go anywhere. And the man who ended up with the football is snowed under at the 20-yard line. Uh, Applegate's there. Well, Coach Dan Boynton might just want to get out of this first half no worse off than he is. Not take a chance down this deep. We jumped across or lined up for it. Nope. Nope. They just handed up the middle and sharp carries and not much going out to the 20. Uh, Mike Elliott's uh, hanging pretty close by too, Doc is, so uh, hopefully everything will work out all right. Looks like they're going to try to hang one out uh, on the last play of the half. Here's Phelps back. Puts it down. It's caught by Sharp, and he's hit and dropped after a gain of about 10 yards on the play. It's by a score of 16 to 6. By 10. And the Braves will kick it off to Robinson. Robinson will go left to right. He'll be headed north in this third quarter. The kick is a high end over end kick to Trueblood at the 14. Right up the middle, gets it out to the 26 where he's uh, hit pretty solidly and driven back. So Robinson will get the ball. Maroon offense comes on. Eric Correll is at the tight end. A quick hitter to True Blood, and he is hit and hit hard. An initial line and was trying to cut to the outside when Peterson came from the secondary. Gave him a good, solid hit. Minute into the second half, Maroons with the football, second down and eight, working from their 27-yard line. Full house backfield set, and Hartridge gives to Odell, or Trueblood. He gets outside and couldn't quite get the corner. Dukeman was able to wrestle him down out of the, and Pater again. 
True Blood's got that quick, explosive steps right there. Any there? Any though? Know? He's he's putting close to 100 yards uh, now. He's, he's at 87 with, with that one. Nine carries, 87 yards, and a touchdown. Another great night for him. 38-yard line, and here he is again, and runs into his own man after he bursts through. Huh. If there's any one thing that you could say about Brandon, he runs hard, but maybe he doesn't have his head up or eyes wide open all the time. He he could have slid by his own teammate that time. He had uh, a bunch more yardage, but uh, again, we don't intend that to be a criticism. <laughs> He's close to 100 yards. Here's Odell secondary. He's at the 50 and a first down in Mount Zion territory, intent on doing what they do the best, and that's just run the football behind this solid offensive line. We've got double wideouts this trip, and Baxter carries, and he takes it down to the 45-yard line, and he's going to get that ball, and any one of them is a hard runner. And Hartridge fully healthy gives you four back there. I don't know how much uh, Louis is going to be subjected to further punishment tonight if he does that and has that hip pointer. And not much going on that one. A give to Trueblood. Yeah. Being to stiffen here, they run about a 4-4 type defense. Now they're putting 4-5. And, and it's no. True Blood, or, uh, Odell carrying for the first down. Didn't make any difference that they had everybody up at the call. He had one hand on the ground and kept the feet pumping and got about five more yards out of it. And held on to the football, too. First and ten Maroons at the 35. Play goes left. Odell to the secondary at the 30, the 25, and down to the 20. Another first down for the Maroons. He got a good 15. They were clipping off four and five and six minutes on a drive and maybe running 10, 12 plays in a series. Mr. Phelps didn't get a chance to throw it. Here's a give to Baxter, and it looked like nothing. Either. Wide to the near side it is Justin Lycan. And at the play up the middle once again. And Trueblood got it down yard gains. The Braves are just stacked up at that line of scrimmage. Look, they've got one man back as a safety yeah. and one man head up the wideout. The other nine are tackle to tackle on the inside, and still the Maroons have been driving him back. We'll see what goes here. Fumble. Hartridge fumbles, and the Braves recover. Oh, he took a hit again. Yeah. Yeah, he's Louis. definitely. He's not feeling good. No. Oh, I would kill to climb. Oh, boy. Four minutes, 58 second drive. Yeah. Ends at the 18. That's first turnover tonight, isn't it? Uh, Sharp carries, and boy, he came close to having that ball ripped away from him. Half yard, and that was about it. Just, just not much going. Good defensive drive on the part of King. Broke that play up. They got a bunch of people scattered around the field. Jones comes in motion inside. He heads downfield. They put it out in the flat to him, and he is driven out of bounds over at the far side by Calvin for Jones. Yeah. That one of 36, and we had two or three guys had a shot at him on that one and just didn't bring him down. So it's first and 10 for the Braves. And trips to the near side. Big rush on Phelps this time. He's being chased, gets it off, and it is incomplete. Pass was intended for Sharp. And other than that, remember that one that Dukeman had on his hands and we thought he was going to pitch it back middle of the second quarter? Yeah, but he caught it and he didn't get the lateral. He lost oh, two I yards thought, on it. Oh, I thought he dropped it. No, yeah. lost no, two he, yards yeah. on it. Okay, here's a in two. One of the 15-yarder and a five. So. Yeah, that was only nine. With <laughs> yeah, yeah, third, it was. <laughs> But a solid, yeah, that's true. Was was we nice. We got a break there. Yeah. Phelps back to throw. Again, has some pretty good time. The screen is to the near side. He's got a couple of blockers. And fortunately, Harvey turned to the inside instead of to the outside. Or we'd have been in big trouble. Down ball just outside the 40. A brave offensive line's done a good job tonight. They've given Phelps time to throw. And sure been too many times that we've really uh, been in his face. He turns, gives to Harvey, and Harvey has got the first down as he goes behind his uh, right guard. Wasn't Mike right around it? Yeah. About 6, 6.45. When Robinson uh, turned it over on a fumble. And Phelps straight back. Looks to the right. Puts it out deep. He's got his man there, but it's incomplete. Overthrown. Intended forced into that. That kid's got a great arm.
Robinson defenders hoping to stiffen up here. Here's Phelps sacked at the 38-yard line. Coming through was Charlie Applegate and some help all maybe 17 yards. Double wide here. Yeah. Two wide outs to the right side. And a wide out here on the near side. And the Maroons are playing them all one-on-one -on -one with Odell back in the middle to help out anybody. He's going to try a screen pass, and it's a wobbler, and it's caught by Sharp. He cuts to the inside and is hit. He fumbles. The ball's looped. The Braves recover, and they'll face a fourth down. Anderson back in punt formation. The Maroons with a couple of men deep. And the snap is a low one, but he gets it off and drives it to the left side. It is taken by Calvin Fox on the run, and he gets it back to the 38-yard line. About 27 yards and a two-yard return. Go on and take some time off the clock and put some points on the board. And Hartridge with a snap goes to the left side, and it's Odell carrying, and he goes to the 40-yard line. So going to buy Odell there, so second and seven. The Maroons hoping to grind it out, and the Braves, uh, I say, they've got nine men within four yards of the line of scrimmage. They've got their four down men and four linebackers. One safety and then one man playing the head up the wide out. And gets up the middle to Baxter and he's over the 45 and near the 47 yard line. He's going to be close hard needed for the first down. Normally I'd say Hartridge would sneak here, but I'm not sure. With Louis battling uh, an injury, he gives it to Baxter and Baxter's got it and then some over the 50 and down to the 46. Well, how about Brent Parker and Jamie Carroll there? Oh, they're not uh, they, they just in. blue. Mount Zion off the line. Here's Baxter again. This time somebody got an ankle. Knees reach again. They call it a clip. And uh, I kind of think they might be. Hesitate to say that until you know for sure. But he coming up limping too many times when after he's handed the ball off and it's not an option play. If you're an option, you're fair game. But uh, I hope it's not happening that way. Down to about 60 seconds left in the third. Robinson with a first and 10 at the Braves 30. Full house backfield once again. Hartridge hands it off. And nothing going for Baxter. Fox wide to the left. Lycan wide to the near side. And the two halfbacks are wingbacks this time. They're just off the tail of their tackle. Still in the offensive backfield. One of them usually goes in motion out of this formation. But none does this time. Baxter, a quick pass over the middle. Odell's got it. He's got another first down as he's inside the 20 and now near the 15-yard line. Now let's finish off this drive now. We may not even put it in play. Now Hartridge isn't even going to think about it. He's just going to let the clock run out. Two seconds, one. We're at the end of three. The band and get in the spirit for your favorite foot. Second quarter, Mike. We're going to get our 50 rushes. We're going to win this football game if we do. And Hartridge gives it to Trueblood. He's up the middle and drives forward to near the 15. The again. We're into the fourth quarter of play. And just starting out. 11 and a half minutes to go. The signal's in from Coach Reardon and Riker. Which one counts? I don't know. Both of them sending one in by the hand signals to Hartridge. And he barks it out. Odell in motion to the near side. Baxter, the fullback, powers up the middle and is down near the 10-yard line. Robinson with a 16-6 lead, a 10-point margin. All the scoring in the first half, and it's been defense in the second half. And the Robinson ball possession offense. On the third and five at the Brave 12. Maroon set, Hartridge the call. Baxter is inside the 10 and fighting, trying to get to that first down marker. Maybe a little bit short, but still got a good piece of that five. I don't know how you figure it out. If you're Mount Zion, you don't know who the heck it's going to be. Hartridge is. The quarterback is going to try to do it, and I'm not sure that he made it. At the seven-yard line. Big first down. You know, Louie's got it in him, hasn't he? And here's True Blood. He's inside the five, still on his feet, near the goal line. Stop short, but it's going to be second down and less than a yard needed for the Robinson touchdown. Less than a yard to go. Hartridge gives it to Baxter, and Baxter is turned back. He tried to make it a foot away. The block over at the far side, just short of the pylon. Hartridge takes the snap and gives it to Trueblood, and he's got a touchdown, and the Maroons are up by a score 
a point for two once again. They've done it successfully. Here's Trueblood trying to get to the outside, and he stopped this time. No good on the run. So the Maroon had the football for four minutes this second half, and we played uh, about 15, some daylight. But Robinson is out playing the Braves at this point. But Mount Zion with that arm of Brad Phelps. Here's another kick driven down the middle. It bounces to about the 17. It's picked up by Ricky Jones. He dances by a couple of men, gets it back out to about the 30-yard line where the Braves will start this possession against the Maroons. And the defensive unit comes charging on to the, without a score. They were unable to do that. Mount Zion scored in the first quarter, but since then, no more. Beal is in at the fullback spot now in place of Harvey. Sharp, the other running back. Phelps straight back to throw. Gets protection over the middle. It is caught. And Jason Edgar was the receiver. And we want to keep it running, don't we? It's their 10th, uh, 11th first down. Back to throw once again is Phelps. Out into the left flat. This one was tipped. Somebody got a hand on it. And I think that it was uh, back to Maroons. Are 3, 16, and 1 through 20 years of competition with Mount Zion. A win last year, trying to make it number two tonight. They got four wideouts this trip, two on each side. And Phelps has a man down the middle. It's intercepted by Odell at the 45, to the 50, the 45. He's at the 40, caught from behind, and dropped at the 39-yard line. Robinson, Jim Pat Odell's one to Jeff Dukeman. He stepped in front, and he grabbed that one. It often does after a big play like that. Come back with a big one. Yeah. Now they decide to run it, but against the Braves, it's offside. Passing game, he's picked up some yardage, but he hasn't been an impressive thrower tonight. No. You know, Mike, it's been short, been short, short stuff. And Brandon Trueblood carries on the first down play. Looks like they ran the same play that the Robinson senior back. Trueblood at 107 yards on 16 carries. That's now. his fourth 100-yard-plus game this season. Had a string of three in a row back in the earlier part of the campaign. He has done well. Odell in motion to the near side. Hartridge to Baxter. And he's up the middle. And did he fumble the football? I need that a calculator. A, yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I say it's going to take a timeout or something here to, to get it figured up. But it's been a bunch of them. And I think that has been the key to this ball game tonight. Robinson has controlled the football. And Hartridge throws. And it was for Blacker and incomplete. Louis uh, seriously hurt. And it's a quick pitch to Trueblood. He's got the blockers. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. And it's a first down for Robinson. And it'll be set. And it's at the 6-yard line. Here's Odell to the left side. He cuts it inside. He's in standing up untouched. And the Maroons are up 28 to 6. The quarterback yeah, for the extra yeah, point. The extra point, the problem. They got McKeegan in, so they're going to probably uh, uh, attempt to kick it here. Yeah, it is a shift into the kicking for me. <laughs> Matt was going to line up on the, for a, a right-footed kicker. McKeegan kicks from the left side, and he puts it up, and it is good. Back with another Robinson kickoff in 30 seconds. They haven't seen much tougher offensive and defensive lines than they have seen here in uh, this football game at Crosby Field tonight. McKeegan's kick uh, skitters off to the left side. Phelps touches it, and then has to dive on it and cover it at the 30-yard line. They haven't had any kind of a kickoff return all night, uh, Mike. They think we're going to see Macy and Matt Parker in because he's down there with uh, David uh, Riker kind of talking things over. Uh, so Louie may have fumbled. We heard somebody say. I didn't see it. I was looking down here at the bench. The Braves did for the first down. Just over five minutes left. The Braves now going without a huddle of their own. Here's Phelps being chased, and he gets the pass off, and Jones is open as he tries to cut back. Feet slipped out from under him. Truba Applegate almost had Phelps trapped that time, but he just got rid of it. Phelps is back. Good protection this time. Now being chased, he's hit and dropped. A big loss on the play, and it's uh, Brett Riggins charging three men. Brett was the leader. Riggins got it done. And Phelps is back to throw once again. Again, some pressure on, but the pass is caught by Dukeman. He's at the midfield stripe and down to the 48 yard. Just headed down off the top and is, uh, I think, uh, headed back down on the field, isn't he? So wants to be down with his players here to uh, enjoy the uh, last four minutes of this ball game. Here will be charged with him. has been back and forth like a yo-yo, hasn't he? 
Phelps rolling right, puts it out to Sharp. He's got it, and he's got a first down. Broke almost. He's uh, almost away. Jim Pat O'Dell, a touchdown since when the clock was running. They had, uh, well, I guess commonly called a two-minute drill. Well, the clock stopped there with the chains. Well, the, the ball carrier knocked out of bounds, so back to throw is... Uh, Jones and he's got it for a touchdown. Ricky Jones right over Brandon Trubley. And the Braves obviously going to come up and take a shot at getting two here. They need all the points they can get. And, and we'll see an onside kick likely, won't we? Phelps to throw again. He's hit and he unloads it. And it's intercepted by the grasp and uh, wouldn't go. No good on the True blood back at the 15, and the other 10 guys are within about uh, 10 or 12 yards. And, of course, the kick has to go 10 yards for it to be a free kick. Here's the run-up and the kick, and it bounces, and it is, I think, covered by, uh, or by uh, Mount Zion. I don't uh, want to say I think that. we got it. I think okay, we got it. I hope so. It's one of those that uh, you know what's going to happen. And, they should uh, have had it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should have. It was, it right was Ryan there. Smith winning at Charleston next week, and we're the conference champions for the second year in a row. It's nice to oh, – what a what a great run there by the Maroons over the mid. Kept going. Just refused to go down. Carried the ball 18 times for 76 yards. Isn't that a great effort True. by a fullback, oh. 18 carries? That's, that's the kind of well, – just a workhorse yeoman job by Jake in this one tonight. And gets a give to Baxter again, and he is limited to about, I think we're at the frustration point now. Baxter of the quarterback, uh, Louis Hartridge, still on. Maroon's running just a tight wishbone formation now. They don't have a split end, no nothing. They're just uh, telling Mount Zion, we're just going to run it at you. Stop us if you can. We'll keep the clock going, and we're going to win it. Hartridge. Gives it to McKeegan, and he's inside the 30. Maybe to the 29, Benji Carter just came on. Try and pick up some of the others as a number of the starters are on the sideline now as Robinson is cruising to the win over the visiting Braves of Mount Zion. First time in history that Robinson will have beaten Mount Zion back-to-back. -back. And Rhinesmith carries, and he's on the right side, and he's down near the first down marker as he took it inside. He tucked it in and put one hand over uh, each end of the football and then took off running and got some yardage. It's third and one. McKeegan carries and I think is close to the first down before being dumped way back at the... At home from an illness or injury, then you can in a hospital. All you need is the hospital equipment, and it's available right around the corner at Harmon's Health Mart in Oblong, a comfort care agency. Whatever your doctor orders, we can fill the need. We'll even handle the insurance. In the timeout, quarterback Matt Parker handed it to Nathan Fiscus, and he picked up the first down. We're down to about the one-minute mark. Robinson with the first and ten, and the Braves about out of timeouts, and, and about out of everything here as uh, the ball goes up the middle, and Robinson picks up some more yardage. It uh, looks to the sideline and waits for uh, one of his teammates to clear the field and then calls off uh, the play. Got a wide out here to the near side in Jesse Snyder. Contest. It's just about over. We're down to four, three, two, one, and for the first time.